This is KDM with the second edition of KDM's Mud and Minute. In this episode, I'd like to describe confused water. If you recall in the first episode, I described the current seam that is still right here, but it's not as pronounced as the water has gone down about three inches. Okay? We have the current seam that I described earlier. Then if you look directly behind that current seam where the current seam disappears you'll see this area right here. If you'll notice the bubbles the bubbles are going side to side, some are going upstream, some are going downstream, there's boils, there's, there's some waves that are here. This is what I describe as confused water. Confused water is caused by any obstruction on the bottom of the river that interrupts the downward flow of water. This area, the confused water area, is where you will find your neutral to negative fish. Okay, The majority of the active fish, as I said, will be right up here in this current seam. You might find some active fish back in here as well, but this is where most of the neutral fish will be hanging out. They're not going to hit as hard or as fast as the active fish, but they will take an offering if it gets close enough. Now if we slide a little bit further downstream, not far, just maybe 20 feet or so, you will find an area right here where the bubbles are flowing in much slower and consistent fashion. There's no swirls, the wave action is reduced, there's not a lot of turmoil going on. This is what I describe as a smooth water flat, right here. It's where the water starts to get itself figured out again, so it flows downstream in a linear fashion. If you look farther downstream here a little bit, right after the smooth water flat, you'll see about right here, there's an underwater obstruction that's causing another section of confused water right here. Okay? Just because there's no dam in front of it doesn't mean that you won't find confused water. Incidentally, I'm standing on the wing wall that I described in the first episode. You can see another current seam right here. And this current seam extends all the way down to this rock point here and then continues around the river. It's an extremely long current seam. You can also see the eddy that I described right here. The water is actually flowing back towards me instead of away from me. In fact, it's almost not moving at all. Now, is there always confused water following a current seam and then a flat water or smooth water flat? No. If you look downstream, you notice this island right here. Right on the tip of this island, there's a current seam that comes right off the point, and there's absolutely no confused water there. It goes directly into a smooth water flat. This is KDM. This has been the second episode of KDM's Mud Minute.